ከካሬ ዘጻር ቃን ወዘሃጣን መዝሙር ዘዳዊ ታሌሉያ ብዙ ብእሲ ዘይ ሆረ በመክረሲያን ወዘይ ቆመው ማይ ኔም ኢስ ፍስሃ ታደሰ ፈለከ ማይ ፈርስት ኔም ኢስ ፍስሃ ዘ ወርድ ኢዝ አ ጉድ ዎርድ ኢት ባይ ኢትሰልፍ ኢት ኢዝ አ ናውን ዊች ሚንስ ጆይ ሃፒነስ ኢን ኢትስ ፉል ዌን ማይ ዳድ ኮልድ ሚ ኢት ዎዝ ፍስሃ ሲዮን ዊች ሚንስ joy of zion i can guess 70 or 80% of names in ethiopia especially in northern and middle ethiopia would have come from these words like any other language you you start reading by by knowing your alphabet so here are uh, the good alphabet goes like this ha hu hi ha he hu ho la lu li la le le lo ha hu mamu mi ma ne ethiopic or gis is one of the oldest languages if not the oldest language uh, we have in the world it has a long long history uh, especially uh, if we rely on oral history back home ethiopian scholars uh, if not all of them most of them would say uh, it was the first language of human beings in ethiopia until a century ago education was under the jurisdiction of the church and it starts with the alphabet obviously the giz alphabet uh, and texts that are read are from the bible mostly and other holy scripture and then people go to poetry school church music school and then they learn how to interpret the bible and then they learn law and other even secular matters within the church but uh, during the last emperor's time western education came and uh, that traditional education was going parallelly like it is now in the middle of my high school life i started going to sunday school and uh, we were doing some bible studies and then i became interested in spiritual matters and there has always been a book one particular book in our house and in this book there is a verse the verse is uh, written in gis and the commentary comes in amharic in in my language but i couldn't understand those citations that are put in gis and not left untranslated why not i uh, i learned gis i it, it came to my mind and i went to church and i asked where uh, i can learn gis it is to in poetry school they, they told me so i went to poetry school and i graduated from that school because i was very much interested in biblical and uh, um ecclesiastical matters so i joined a theological college it was a very fruitful time that i had in that college because um more than half or i would say 75% of it was reading uh, good literature so uh, i had the chance to read so many uh, books written in gis daimu kamemere zegfo nefasim getsem about whether gis is alive or dead whether it, it should be considered extinct or in danger there are a lot of arguments out there and uh, i have hard time to find my 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 place where i belong do i say it is extinct or it is endangered or it's alive it makes me wonder as to how the parameters are set to say a language is dead or alive bahatu illu muhran illu muhran zevelu lisan leme botu etenabobu hizb ustemis yataat we marahibt yitwellequ kamemuwit yibelu bahatu liqawun ta betekristian ኢሳየጡ ወርቱ ጥበበ ጥበበ ማን ሰናይት ቢ those people who spoke gis for their daily life they are not there there's no people now who buys and sells things or who does uh, speak gis like that if in that sense it's not being spoken 
that's one sense in which people might consider is it dead. But it has come down to us in a written form. We have a number of literature, the, the, the Holy Bible, even philosophical works of the old Greek times, some of them are preserved in this language. It has preserved a lot of knowledge as literature, but also the poetry school thing. In poetry school, we learn Gis to compose with it, not, not only to read old texts, but to compose anew. For instance, if I were to compose a poem now in front of you, in Gis, that involves uh, airplane, I know in Gis there is one word, saragala. Saragala means a cart, a car. What is airplane then? Airplane is a kind of saragala on the sky, you understand? So sky we have, samai. So I will combine saragala samai. And now this is a vocabulary for uh, airplane. So this is very much alive in that sense, I would say. Ako kamazi hat anse ako kamazi daimu kamirid ze gufon afas and get summit. When tazi is nasur as yan and dain, we e hat an ustamakas arkan, sme amir ze abher, for not homeless arkan, or for not homeless cell, hat an tet up, so hat la wold on fasdus alam or alam alam. That's it.